The sweetness of patience. Have you ever plucked fruit prematurely? Perhaps you were allured by its vibrant color and sweet scent moving through the air. But when you took the first bite, you realized it lacked the ripeness you anticipated. Everything seemed right at first glance, but there was one missing ingredient. Time. Even the simple act of picking fruit can teach us about time and patience. Be patient then, brothers and sisters, unto the Lord's coming. See how the farmer waits for the land to yield its valuable crop, patiently waiting for the autumn and spring rains. You too be patient and stand firm because the Lord's coming is near. James chapter 5 verses 7 and 8. The author, James, penned these words under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit to a community of new Jewish converts to Christianity, dispersed throughout various regions. These early Christians faced many trials, including persecution and opposition because of their newfound faith. James' call to wait patiently and endure was more than mere words on the page. They were a lifeline of hope and encouragement in the midst of adversity. And just as those early believers confronted trials, we too will encounter challenges and suffering in our Christian journey. And just like those early believers, you can choose patience, allowing the fruit of the Spirit to rip, rip in within you no matter the season of life. And when you do, your character will mature, your faith will deepen, and your relationship with God will become sweeter than you could imagine. Patience always bears the fruit of perseverance, perseverance and strength even today, and even for you. The Lord is willing to wait for us, no matter the time, no matter the season. So the question for us is, how much are we willing to wait on God? Because His coming is near, but we don't know when it's coming. Are we prepared for His coming? I invite you today to ask Jesus, to fill you with his love, with his patience, with his peace that only he can provide so that we can be patient and stand firm for when he comes.